Good morning, friends, and welcome to our children's message today. So today we're going to talk about when things are valuable. And usually we refer to something being valuable when we are talking about something that's worth a lot of money. For instance, a fancy car or a big TV. But I have something else here today that is very valuable to me, and I want to share it with you, but it was just here. Oh, hey, Moses. Oh, look. You're wearing just what I was looking for. So Moses, may I have the necklace, please? Thank you. All right, so friends, this is a necklace that was my grandma's, and this was something that she wore very often. And when it was given to me, I felt so special. Oh, Moses wants to know how old it is. Well, this necklace is at least 40 years old, and I know, it still has something cool inside after all these years. It has a perfume. And it still smells like it did when I was little. Now, some of the grown-ups here may even recognize this as it was a pretty popular necklace way back then. But here's the thing. It actually didn't cost that much money. But because it was my grandma's, and this reminds me of her, it's priceless to me. Like this necklace, there are a lot of things in our lives that we really can't put a price tag on, but they're still very special. Maybe you can think of a special gift that you've been given. Think about for a second, what made it valuable or important to you? Maybe like my necklace, it reminded you of someone special. Or maybe it was just a very thoughtful gift that someone picked out just for you. So speaking of valuable or special gifts, if you were to give Jesus a present, what do you think you would give him? Oh, okay. Well, Moses is going to go now and try to find a special gift that he would give Jesus. What gift could possibly be worthy of Jesus, our Lord and Savior? Well, today in our gospel reading, we hear about how someone gave something very special and very valuable to Jesus. You see, Jesus went to have dinner at the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Now, also there were Martha and Mary, who were the sisters of Lazarus. So here's what our Bible says happened next. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. Yes, Moses, she took a whole pound of very expensive perfume, put it on Jesus' feet, and then wiped it off with her hair. Yes, really, I know that seems kind of strange, but this was actually a very special gift for Jesus, and Jesus knew that. But Judas criticized Mary for doing this, saying that they could have sold this very expensive perfume and that the money could have been used to help the poor, which really wasn't what Judas wanted because Judas wanted the money all for himself. But Jesus told Judas to leave Mary alone. You see, Jesus knew that this act was a gift that she had given him and that it was something very special. And he knew that this had come from her heart and showed how much she loved and cared for Jesus. You see, this showed that Jesus was more valuable to Mary than this very special perfume. And this act, this gift, was something that was very valuable to Jesus. While we can't pour expensive perfume on the feet of Jesus like Mary did, there are gifts that we can give to Jesus to show him our love and care. What kinds of gifts? Well, the gifts of our heart, our time, and our talents. It could be as simple as praying or reading the Bible or drawing or coloring a special picture for someone. It might be helping someone out or serving at church, maybe singing or reading for worship services or playing the violin for worship services. Okay, I will be sure to let Miss Colleen and Miss Sandra know. You see, Jesus can do amazing things with our lives when we are willing to share our gifts with others. We know that Jesus is worth more than any gift we might buy. And guess what? He also thinks that you are more special and more valuable than anything too. 
So let's pray. Dear God, help us to remember to give thanks to you and to Jesus by using our gifts to bring your light to others in our own special way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's our children's message for today. We look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, goodbye and God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.